As a lot of you know, over the last few months, my crazy neighbor Sharon has been making my life miserable. Stop! Stop! Stop. Stop. You need to back off. You need to leave me alone. What a neighbor! Damn! Damn. Oh, my hell! I'm holding on! She's here right now, and we're finally going to put this whole thing behind us. Isn't she so sweet? Hey, Sharon, thanks for coming over. You wanna come over? Hello? Hey! I can't hear you! Did you just nail me into a coffin? Well, you see, this friend of mine is a retired CIA operative. Now he says that this method is certain to work to convince you that you need to just get out of this area, out of this neighborhood, out of my life. I'm not moving. So while you're in this breakout proof box, it's going to go up to about, oh, I think Maybe they said 120, 150 degrees. You're gonna find a way to get out of that house. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to collect yourself and your thoughts in there. Where are we? I'm wait, gonna wait, leave wait. you. Wait, wait, wait. And I'll be back. I think I'm not supposed to tell you how long, but it's going to get warm. I just want to warn you. Enjoy. I'm locked in this box. It is probably already at least 100, 101 degrees in here. I feel like the heat's going up. The more I breathe, I'm just putting hot air back in this box. 3,000 pounds of jello in my shopping cart. There was like the angry orangutan right on my tail following me. And then you'll never believe that. After that, I turn the corner. What? What are you doing in our house? What are you doing back here? What are you doing? I live here! What do you mean, what am I doing here? Ryan and I are trying to work things out. If you're working things out, where is he? Ryan! So is he in your house watching your team? Yeah, where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? Oh, you guys. We had an idea here. I got a little, um, a little project going back here with Ryan. A, a project? Ryan's thinking things over in a box. Like, basically in a box? <gasps> You want to see? I mean, this is a little extreme. It, it is an extreme technique, but I know a CIA operative, and he has guaranteed me that this method. Hey, please let me out! Please let me out! It's just what he needs. Who are you talking to? Ryan. Casey. Casey, let me out. She's crazy. Why did you get in the box? He chose to get in that. No, I. What do you mean? I chose to get in the box. I've watched a lot of YouTube channels that normally when you have someone in an unbreakable box, you normally throw them in a pool or a lake and then they're sinking in an unbreakable and box. And that seems a little safer. Hey, that's an idea. I didn't think about that. We'll do that next time. Did you set this up with her? Or sometimes people like they ship themselves across the country to something else. Like maybe we could ship them. Guys, stop hitting the box. I'm barely tapping. I'm one. No, it's like tapping a fishbowl. More of a rhythm. Stop. Casey, come down here. Let me out of the freaking box, I'm gonna kill you. Casey, let me out of the box. Well, now I don't want you out of the Casey, box. Casey, let me out of the box! If you're in the box, you definitely can't kill me. Casey, my friend, you're supposed to help me out of the box! She's saying maybe this is an important thing that can help you grow as a person. Casey, Let's she wants see. us to move out of the neighborhood. Why are you helping her? Well, do you think we get a nicer place somewhere else? No. Oh. Maybe we just leave him in for a day, it's like, let the temperature get boiling. Oh, hey, 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 no, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, oh, oh. hey, no. Wow! Uh, wow! Come on, come on! This is, this is serious. Seriously, this is necessary. I spoke with the CIA operative, and he assured me that this is so effective. Uh, it's most effective. Just a tiny drop of water. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Is that is now, that seriously necessary? Seriously, thought you said just a drop of water. It's the repetitive nature. It's, it's, that, that's not. That's not, not a drop. That's just a stream of water. You're just making my hair wet. Ah, he was kind of fun. There's like a bunch on him. Dude, yeah. stop! Oh, this feels gross. He's starting to crack. I think. Are you crazy yet? I've been in here for like two minutes. It's hard to take you seriously when you're duct taped to a bed. I'm gonna come here, Casey. What is your idea? Your idea is that you want me to move out of my house that you're currently trespassing in, by the way. Maybe it's like a long play. Maybe he has to like be in here for a while. It's like really appreciate. Do not leave me in here. Okay, you got any snacks in the kitchen? No. Don't well, you ate all my Pringles, so. You know, I think we've given him a lot to think about. I think maybe he just needs to chew on this for a bit and we can check in and like. 10 to 90 Days. months. All right, so uh, how long are we supposed to keep him in there? Well, I think it's just a matter of a couple hours. I feel like normally we just like 
are doing videos and stuff, so now I don't know what, what to, to do. do. <laughs> the beauty of it is you still are. It's just you're in charge now, see? Why don't we just try being in charge for a little bit? All right, if you were in charge, what would you do? Get some ice cream. I was kind of thinking, like, what if we got cake? Uh, unless... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Two hours later. All right. Finest ice cream cake. This is kind of pretty fun for a Wednesday. This is enough cake to last us, like, three more hours, too, which is great. Maybe we should check on Let them know, like, that Yeah. are probably worried about the business. We say we're making good ideas. You know, we have good decisions to keep mm. things running while he's... And dispose. Ryan! Please just let me out. Are you changed man yet? I don't know. How long have I been here? I actually don't know. It's yeah, been, been know. a real long time. Uh, we all figured that you were probably pretty worried about how things were going on the channel. And I just want to let you know that Ethan and I were doing some big brain decisions while he's been tied up. He wanted ice cream, I wanted cake. We compromised, we got an ice cream cake. So I just want you to know that there's still like stuff's happening, even though, you know, you're maybe. Yeah, decisions are still being made. Hey, hey, watch it, buddy. So I'm gonna get some more, but you have, you have fun here, bud. Are you leaving me? Mm -hmm. Well, we've only been gone for a couple me? hours. Dude, please. The sun's about to set. We're gonna, we're gonna leave you please, for the night. Please, if I don't get back to the cake, it's gonna melt, and then we're gonna have egg everywhere. And, oh my god, we just had liquid all over our floor. That would be terrible. Oh. Well, can't have that in two rooms then, can we, huh? Yeah. Wait, 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 Sharon, can I talk to you? Sharon, can I talk to you, please? Just me and you? Alright. Oh, you came back? Hey, can I talk to you, just you for a second, just for one minute? So two things, I have a favor to ask and a proposition for you. First thing to favor is my face really itches and I actually can't reach it and I was going, it's like by my nose on the right. Right there, uh, yeah, oh yeah, thank you. Okay, and my proposition is you want us to leave you alone, you want to make your life easier, you want to go back to that cozy neighborhood you're used to. You're beginning to understand. I am, I get it, and I understand, I totally get it. But there's one problem with your plan. If you get me out of here, you still have to deal with Casey and Ethan. You might think that they're nice to you, they'll stab you in the back. I don't trust that they're actually on your side. So instead of kicking me out of here, you untie me, I help you lock both of them in a room, and you can do whatever you want to them, you can get rid of them however you want, and then that's two people down, and honestly, I'm helpless without them anyway, so like, I basically you got all three of us, more like two and a half, but. I, I had not thought of that. I also didn't until I had this amazing opportunity to be tied down and to think about it. It is an amazing technique. Well, honestly, I feel like it's completely destroyed any understanding I had of who I am, so... Well, then I, I think our job is done here. Almost done. Not quite. So what do you what do you think? That's my proposition. You untie me, you get both those guys, I'll serve them up to you on a silver platter, whatever you want. I have your word on it. My word. But could you untie me and do it? You don't have to do it gently, but if you could do it gently, I would appreciate that. Ah! <laughs> All right, perfect. So here's the plan. Follow me. If you get them in that room, I will do the rest, okay? There they are. Right there. All right, there she goes. I don't trust Ethan or Casey anymore, man. All they do is stab me in the back. They just, they trapped me in a box. They didn't help me get out. They tied me to a table. She's talking to them. Oh, with Ryan. With Ryan, yeah. Ryan, yes. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right. I think you'll be quite pleased with the outcome. All right. Good. Fry dog. Yeah. Fry bird. Just take a look at this. Come all the way in. Wait till you see. Oh my hey. God, Ryan's invisible now? Thank you. Wait. You guys. Ryan! No. She's on my side now! Wait, what are you talking about? How's it feel to be trapped, idiot? You lift me up, I can climb into this. That then? Yes, Yo, you could definitely fit in there. Alright, so, I have a giant speaker. Hey, guys! Don't worry about us! Don't, hey, hey, we're just, um, we're just, uh... It doesn't fit my different wrench. I'm mad at you, so I, I guess that's all I gotta say. I'm just gonna play this audio of this baby crying. Uh, oh, neighbors? Neighbors, help! Alright, guys, and three... Two, one. Ah! Oh my god, Ethan! Oh, make it stop! Ah! Ah!